Welcome back to another edition of Rams Roundup. I'm Matt Morrow, pleased to be joined by Fordham basketball head coach Jeff Neubauer. Now, Jeff, the last time we spoke, talked about how you didn't still know what your team was and talked about all the home games, and we still got plenty of time to figure things out, but you're still undefeated at home. You're coming off a really great win over St. John's in a sold-out Rose Hill gym. Have you learned anything new about your team just yet? Well, we certainly have, and we're learning more and more every day. So the thing we talk to our group about is we need more. And what that means is if you're a guy in the starting lineup, we need you to improve. We need you to get better. Also, we're going to have to get more from our bench, and that's going to come. Guys like David Pekarik, Ryan Canty, Nick Smith, they're going to learn. They're going to get better, and uh, we've got to have it. One of the guys who has kind of echoed that sentiment that you have really challenged him over the summer and then into the season is Ryan Rooms, and you talked about how he just needed to be a better player, and he's spoken about that. Well, he's coming off a career high, a double-double against St. John's. What has impressed you the most about Ryan Rooms so far this season? The biggest thing that we've done is encouraged him to look to score. So he's really an unselfish player, and he really wants to pass the ball. And uh, so he was getting the ball in practice in really dangerous situations for the defense. He was getting the ball deep and still looking to pass. And so the biggest thing we asked him to do was, hey, be more aggressive, be more offensive. And uh, he certainly has done that. He's shooting over 70% from the field. He's been a force inside. What we talked to our team about is the better Ryan Rooms is, the better everyone else is going to be because he puts pressure on the rim. Joseph Chartouni was the A-10 Rookie of the Week a week ago. And he's an older rookie, just turned 21, but he's still a freshman and still playing his first college ball. What can you say about the way that he has played with such maturity despite his first year on campus? He certainly has had great value for the basketball, and that's the biggest thing that we want from our guards. If you look at the way that Joseph and Mandel are taking care of the basketball, just absolutely terrific. So that's what you hope for from a guard. That's what you want from a freshman guard. It's a lot easier said than done. Uh, he still is going to improve greatly, but you're right. He's playing with great composure, and uh, defensively he's improving every day. Is it more impressive for him the other things that he does, not just the scoring because he rebounds, he assists, and he plays great defense as well? Absolutely. He's one of those guys that we just need on the court because he rebounds so well. He's our third leading rebounder. Uh, Mandel in the past, in past years, has been a very good rebounding guard, but Joe is getting a lot more rebounds than Dell is. Uh, he also passes it so much better. Joe makes his teammates better. Now, your defense certainly leads into your offense, and it's such a hectic style, and probably going to take these time, these guys a little bit of time to really get to where you want it, but how have you seen the progression of how your defense has led into offense so far? It's been really good, especially the defensive part. Offensively, we are not a good transition team yet, so that's one place where we will improve. In the half court, we've been very effective and efficient within our offense. In transition, we, we need more reps. But defensively, our guys are playing with great effort. They understand what it takes to play hard. And they're going to play harder, and they know that. But right now, they really are trying as hard as they possibly can. Before we move on to this weekend's matchup with Central Connecticut State, just look back at the St. John's game again. This place was sold out. The student section was loud throughout the wire-to-wire -wire win for you guys. What did you like about the crowd on Tuesday night? Well, the student section was amazing, and I don't notice these things during the game, but when I go back and watch the film or the video of the game, our student section did not sit down for the entire game. I mean, they were absolutely rocking up there. So that's the type of home court advantage that we want to develop. We expect to come in here and give the other team more than they can handle. And part of that is having a crowd in here that is very noisy that gives us a home court advantage. Moving on to Central, scheduled for a 4 p.m. start on Saturday, second half of a doubleheader with the women. What kind of challenges do they present to you coming in this weekend? The number one thing we've stressed to our team is transition defense. So we've done a very good job in certain games with our transition D. Central Connecticut really does try to run. They've got a point guard, point guard number 12, Cumberlander, who is their leading scorer, their best assist guy, takes the most shots. He is a dangerous weapon. So our defense is going to be focused on their point guard, number 12. Head coach Jeff Neubauer of the Fordham men's basketball team. The team is still undefeated at home. They've got another home matchup with Central Connecticut State coming up this Saturday. The second half of a doubleheader with the women scheduled for 4 p.m. We're back here on Rams Roundup with Joseph Chartouni, the freshman point guard of the Fordham Rams and also a fresh member of the 21-year-old club. So happy birthday and thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. You've had a great start to your freshman season. You are a little bit of, of an older freshman, but it's still your first year on a college campus. How have the first couple of weeks of the regular season been for you? 
To be honest with you, the first couple of weeks, it was really hard, you know, being far from home and far, far from my friends. But as the weeks are, go are going, like, I'm getting used to it. And, you know, every other player on my team is really helping me, like, on the court, off the court. Really, Chris and Mendel are really being here for me. And, yeah, I'm enjoying it right now. You know, we, we've won six games in a row. And we're putting so much effort on in, during practice on defense that it's. I'm happy that it pays off. Now, not only are you getting comfortable off the court, but on the court you've had a great start to the season. You're A-10 Rookie of the Week a week ago. Did you expect to be able to start and play this well right away? You know, first, I didn't think I'd be such a factor on offense. I thought I could really help the, the team on defense, on rebounding, moving the ball on offense, getting more assists than points. But, you know, it, it's what the defense gives me. Like, if one game the defense like allows me to pass the ball and make the others better, then I'll do it. And then if the, t the defense let me drive and score and shoot the ball, then I'll just do it. I'll just, like, I'm a, w I'm a winner, so all I'm going to do is just compete every game and just try to get those wins. You mentioned that your teammates like Chris Sengfeld or Mandel Thomas have been such a huge help to you. In what ways have they been able to make you a better player this early on? You know, just help me feel more, uh, feel more comfortable on the court, of the court, you know, just even though I'm making mistakes, you know, turn over the ball, you know, that's a big factor when you get uh, the first couple of games as a freshman. But they're always there for me, pushing me, just helping me do the little stuff, you know, just hit my guy, just be there for, for the others on defense and just, just play hard, you know. So they're doing a great job with me. Earlier this week against St. John's, it was sold out here at the Rose Hill Gym. There wasn't a sellout last year. It was the first one of this year. What was the difference in the atmosphere like playing against the Johnnies this week? You know, I heard there's a there's a big rival, rivalry uh, rival against St. John's. So I was expecting something bigger than the other games. But, you know, for me, it was just another game, just just to play our, our basketball against another team and then that is it like, you know that's all we do we just play basketball you guys move on to central connecticut state this weekend through these first few games you guys are still undefeated at home you've you know defended this home court here how has that felt to come into this gym know you're playing so many games in a row until january really until you have to go back on the road how has it felt to be able to win here every time you've played at rose hill it's so much better than to play outside like you know I didn't know the difference between playing at home and away and then we've been playing five games now at home and it's such a difference when you play with the crowd when you do good things on offense and defense it's just great to have all those fans cheering for you it really helps you like keep keep working hard every game so I like it moving into the matchup with Central this weekend what's the biggest thing that you want to work on for your game to keep improving on um I'd say just keep helping my teammates on offense, just moving the ball, not turning over the ball, and just be there for them on defense. Just rebound the ball, play hard, guard my men, and just help them when they get beat, and just compete against the other team. He's Joseph Chartouni, the freshman point guard of the Rams and the A-10 Rookie of the Week from a week ago. A huge thanks to Fordham basketball head coach Jeff Neubauer and freshman point guard Joseph Chartouni. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Rams Roundup. You can check us out every week online at FordhamSports.com. The men's team is back in action on Saturday afternoon, second half of a doubleheader with the women. The men take on Central Connecticut State University. The game time is scheduled for 4 p.m. You can check that out online at the A-10 Digital Network. For Rams Roundup, I'm Matt Morrow.